Today we are going to be putting together a very clean loadout that's all black and white. For almost every skin in this loadout there's an alternative. Which version you want to go for really just depends on your own preference and how much you want to spend. The more affordable loadout that I'm going to mainly present here is going to cost you around 550 euros on buff and includes gloves, knife and a T-side agent. Let's dive in. We start with the Glock. I've selected two options here for different price ranges. The Ironwork and the Dragon Tattoo. I like the intricate pattern of the factory new Ironwork so that's the one I go with for around 1 euro. If you go with the Dragon Tattoo, I recommend one where the tattoo is further in the front, leaving space above the grip for a sticker like the Stockholm Spirit Foil or Antwerp Spirit Glitter, both fit quite well in my opinion. For City Side I've picked two options as well, USP Ticket to Hell and Prince Stream. The Ticket to Hell in Factory New goes for around 2 euros. Moving on to the P250. For this one I present to you the Steel Disruption and the Whiteout. However, please be aware, it's a skin that scratches easily. I'm trying not to go overboard, so I'll go with Factory New Steel Disruption, which costs around 2 euros. Next up we've got the Tech 9. If we want to strictly stick to our black and white theme, there really is only the Factory New Tech 9 cutout for about 5 euros. If you're not too strict and you're rather looking at a dark and bright theme, you could also consider the Bamboo Forest. For the city side, there's the 5.7 anodized gunmetal for around 7 euros, which I recommend you put some stickers on to make it look less boring. The Desert Eagle comes next. Here I go for the Mecha Industries just because it fits well with some other skins where there aren't many good options. However, this is also a budget decision. You could just as well pay quite a bit more and go with the Print Stream or Hypnotic instead. For the Mac 10, I would go with the Ultraviolet in Minimal Wear. On this one, you can barely see any scratches on a lower float Minimal Wear, which costs a little under 2 euros, while it costs more than 10 times as much in Factory New. If you're fine with more of a grayscale, you could also go for the Mac 10 Whitefish for around 50 cents in Factory New. In comes the CT side equivalent. The MP9 Featherweight is a clean and cheap pickup for just 55 cents. If you find it too boring, you could also apply some stickers like Spirit or Furia or the Rage sticker. Moving on to the rifles, the Galil Tuxedo is a dream in black and white for around 2 euros. This one also has a lot of potential for fitting crafts with all black and all white stickers, for example the Spirit Stockholm Foil or Antwerp Glitter. You can get low float FNs with stickers for little overpay, so if you plan on putting stickers on anyway, you might want to check some listings first. For the FAMAS, my choice has fallen on the Mecha Industries. It goes well together with the Deagle Mecha Industries and is budget friendly enough at just over 7 euros. For the AK-47, there almost can't be a question which skin to go for. The AK Slate is as black as it gets. Obviously you could also go for other skins like a Black Laminate, Vulcan or Hydroponic if you just want a bright and dark theme, but the Slate is most consistent with our theme. I would definitely go for a Forks Craft on this one and I really like the Rage Sticker from the Perfect World 2 capsule here. If you were to go for them on top of the 9 euro for the slate, you'd be looking at slightly above 10 euros for the stickers. All my M4A4 enjoyers are going to have a rather rough time with this theme. I would go either with a Neo Noir that's as battle scarred as possible, or if you don't like the enemy ish style, you could also just go with the M4A4 Magnesium in Battle Scarred and sticker it up. The M4A1S leaves us with the still relatively expensive Mecha Industries at around 60 euros. Or if you have a higher budget, the print stream starting at roughly 120 euros with a half decent float. Arpskins recently got an addition that fits our theme quite well. The Arp Black Nile looks quite nice and could be a good canvas for crafts at a bit above 9 euros. If you're looking for something more prestigious, you could also check out the AWP Graphite. There are even some halfway affordable Keto 14 crafts with this one, although this would obviously make the overall price of the loadout spike significantly. That concludes the gun skins for this loadout and we move on to gloves, knives and agents. If you don't want to deal with the headache of finding driver gloves black tie with halfway decent knuckles that aren't completely scratched and don't make you overpay a lot, I recommend you look into mid-range float field tested moto gloves smokeout. They come in at around 200 euros while still looking decent. If you've got a bigger budget, you could also go for sports gloves Nox in minimal wear or driver gloves snow leopard with low field tested float, possibly even in minimal wear. The Snow Leopards aren't as susceptible to knuckle wear and fit well with the T-Side agent I've picked. If you're looking for a black knife, you won't get around the Huntsman Black Laminate in Battle Scarred. This one comes in at slightly above 200 euros, so around the same as the Smoke Out Gloves. For all my filthy rich oilers out there, I can recommend the Butterfly Knife Ultraviolet in Minimal Wear. Here I recommend wear as low as possible 
if you want to avoid shelling out the 2.5 thousand euros for the factory new version. If you prefer the white versions, I recommend the vanilla skins, especially Stiletto, Bayonet or Butterfly since these are the brightest ones. The T-Side agent I've been talking about all this time is obviously the fan favorite Number K. He's got these nice white sleeves that you can't find on any other agent. And there you have it, the loadout is complete and the overall cost comes out to around 550 euros. Obviously you can spend a lot more but I think even with this budget you can already get a really nice loadout. Let me know what you think of these skins in the comments below. Do you have a black white loadout yourself or are you considering buying one? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, so long, see ya.